jungle. Hi, I'm Donna DuPont and welcome to Daz. Here in Minneapolis, we just received reports of a 7.3 magnitude earthquake in Alaska. This has caused medium to severe damage and several tall buildings have crashed to the ground. So far, four people have been killed and 18 injuries have occurred. What's this? Breaking news, a tsunami is heading for Hawaii. One of our reporters are there on vacation now. That's Go to Marcel Evans at the scene. Hello, this is Marcel Evans reporting live from Hawaii. Right behind me, there is an incoming tsunami. The estimate, the, the waves of the, on the horizon will arrive anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. The waves are in around 25 feet tall. The last time Hawaii experienced a 25 foot tsunami was in 1975 and people have started to evacuate the island. Sir, sir, what are your thoughts about the incoming tsunami? Dude, there's a tsunami coming, and you want to interview me? Well, yeah, a tsunami is coming, and this probably won't happen again for a, long, for a while. Can you tell us your name? They call me Pickle Rick, my dude. Are you frightened about the incoming 25-foot tsunami hurling towards you over the horizon? Yeah, especially since you're standing right here interviewing me while I might be get uh, hit by a giant wall of water. What are you going to take with you as you evacuate? Just my board, dude. Are you concerned about any personal belongings that you are leaving behind? No, dude. I'm only concerned about my board. I, we've been together for like three months now. It is like two months longer than my last board, so we are like meant to be, dude. May I ask where your other board is now? I'm gonna, it like prob somewhere floating on the ocean near Australia. Oh, um, wow, that's terrible. Tell me, where are you going next? I'm gonna like head out to like. Madagascar and probably ride the waves there. So Pickle Rick, what are you going to do before the giant tsunami was heading towards you? Oh, man, I was getting some Hawaiian burritos by the food court because, like, Hawaiian burritos are the bomb, bro. I'm going to assume you really like burritos, Pickle. Oh, yes. I'm going to get one quick before the water, like, crushes the burrito stand and eat my burrito, bro. Peace. Thank you, Pickle Rick. Now, while I try to find a way out of here, let's go back to you, Donna. Thank you, Marcel, for that amazing interview. I hope all the people out there will be okay and that Pickle Rick can keep his beloved board safe. Oh, and that people can evacuate. As I'm sure you've all been waiting for, it's time for our local Minneapolis weather. Let's head to Betty Barometer with today's weather. Hello, I'm Betty Barometer. Today in Minneapolis, it is cloudy with some light snow. The high for today will be 10 degrees, while the low will be negative 6 degrees. We have a 7 mile per hour wind coming from the north with a negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit wind chill and a 65% chance of snow. There will be 87% relative humidity alongside a dew point of negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit. And that wraps up today's weather. Next, let's take a look at Saturday and Sunday's weather. Saturday will have a high of 13 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of only zero with a little sun. Sunday will be nice and sunny with a high of 22 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of six degrees. It will be very bright and sunny. Let's visit Donna for a quick story. All right, thank you Betty for the weather forecast. Now we have an adorable story on a dog riding a children's bicycle. The dog, Tiny Tom, visited a children's hospital bringing smiles to children with cancer. Although the owner couldn't get an interview, she sent a picture of her dog on its bike. Aw, isn't that cute? 
Now let's go back to the Betty Barometer with the rest of the forecast. Thanks Donna, it's one cute puppy. Okay, as you know, Saturday we'll have a few clouds and some sun. Now on to the rest of the week's weather. Monday we'll have a high of 18 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 4 degrees Fahrenheit and it will be sunny with a little bit of clouds. Tuesday we'll have a high of 20 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 9 degrees Fahrenheit and you'll notice a few more clouds than the day before. Wednesday it will be slightly sunny but mostly cloudy with a high of 19 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 3 degrees Fahrenheit. Thursday we'll have a high of 14 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 1 degrees Fahrenheit. As you may have noticed, all the clouds are leading up to a blizzard warning on Friday that will hit sometime in the afternoon and bad due to a polar jet stream coming in, which is going to lead to a stationary front. Because the storm will move very slowly, we can expect to see a lot of snow. The high for Friday will be negative 7 degrees Fahrenheit and the low will be 9, 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to head back to Donna with some tips on how to stay safe during the storm. Thank you, Betty. Some tips on how to stay safe during a snowstorm would to have extra blankets, an electric generator in case the power goes out, and extra food in case you get snowed in. Be ready for Friday and make sure you don't have plans that involve driving. So you will know if a star storm will hit your area. Let's revisit Betty and take a look at the weather radar. All right, thanks, Donna. The radar for Friday predicts that the storm will hit in the afternoon. The winter storm watch will stay into effect until at least Thursday, while it will be most likely a warning by Friday. If you have weekend plans, I suggest maybe move or cancel them because the roads may be unfit for travel. Right now, the prediction is that the storm will leave 5 to 15 inches of snow on the ground. So remember to pack a weather survival kit and stay safe. Let's head back to Donna to finish out the show. Alright, well thank you Betty. Well, I guess this brings to the end of the show. Thank you for tuning in all the latest news and come back for more great stories on Dad's Weather. This is Donna Dewpoint signing off.